Leilani Dowding is with me. Leilani, as I think about it, the most awful aspect of this story isn't the lady in waiting and uh, the uh, complainant about her behaviour. It's actually the behaviour of the King and the Prince of Wales. No, it really is. I mean, this lady did 60 years of service and they didn't want to stand by her for a second. They just immediately... Oh, like, oh, racism, oh, what should we do? Throw her under the bus. Yeah. You know, there was nothing to stay by her side or find out what happened. They just threw her under the bus, completely distanced them, uh, themselves from her. And I think it's absolutely terrible. This is, you know, William's godmother. Mm. It's, it's, it's awful, it's awful. And like, if you break it down, like, honestly, what she did, I don't think it was that bad. I've been asked so many times, where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> Oh, this is the thing, Mark. If I want to have a long conversation with somebody, oh. I'll say, oh, I'll have a guess, mm, right? And, mm. and I'm curious to know where people think I'm from, just like they're curious to know my roots. Mm. And I think I got to the age of 15 where I didn't, where I realised it wasn't like, oh, I'm from Bournemouth. Mm. They wanted to know my heritage, like mm. where are your parents from? Mm. They didn't, she, you know, the Lady Hussey did not say, where are you born? Mm. You know, where are you from is so open. It could be, yeah. where are you working or or anything, but when you see at me, I, I realise it's because my name's Leilani, which is a Hawaiian name, mm. or because I don't look English. My mum's from the Philippines and my dad's um, English, mm. and I'm proud of it. And the thing is, is it, this is like, they're just picking up on this whole offence and, and just making it into something. Even the Queen of Woke herself, Meghan Markle, right? She wasn't happy enough being American or that her mother's African-American. She actually went and did a genealogy test uh, um, and found out she was 43% Nigerian and shouted it out everywhere because apparently, you know, it's not enough just to know yeah. you're American or African-American. She wanted to know because people are curious and that's OK. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what... Is they're now saying that this uh, appalling 83 year old woman who's the an Orwellian, whatever it is, the three minute hate figure, uh, or except it's more like three weeks in her poor case, they now say, oh, well, it's cast a shadow over William and Kate's tour. What's cast a shadow over William and Kate is that the Prince of Wales has basically, as you said, thrown his godmother under the bell, thrown his godmother under the gold state coach or whatever they throw him under at the palace. But that's why, I mean, because any normal person thinks disowning your own godmother, or in the king's case, disowning your mum's friend of over 60 years, is just a crappy thing to do. No, it is, absolutely. And there's so many people. When I, when I put on my Twitter, look, I, I'm happy for people to ask where I'm from. Mm. People are just saying, I cannot believe. And, like, people are just finding something to be so offended at over and how could they not stand by this old lady it's quite obvious you know she might have not asked the exact question that mm. she wanted to know but i knew i knew at 15 what that question mm. means mm. and it's it's someone being curious because you know if she was really racist she probably wouldn't take any interest at all and mm. just walk on by and not even say anything yeah. so you know to do this i just think it's 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 so wrong